uh, to make students even more active during those times because not a lot of students follow the lecture live. Most of them follow them afterwards. But for um, students trying to watch them live, uh, if, they are, if they can ask questions during the lecture, if you ask them questions and you are waiting for different answers to create some uh, debates or something like that, it's really good. I, I personally find it helpful when teachers post um, lectures that are in line with the course schedule or at least identify key dates for when students should complete certain modules or certain sections. Um, this makes it easier for students to keep track of things. Given, especially in health sciences, the fact that you can access so much resources online, irrespective of the university or using university resources, online tutorials shouldn't really be based around didactic one-way flow of information. I don't think that's useful for most students. Most students can look and find a refined, you know, Harvard University lecture or something like that online as well. So I think tutorials should be about consolidation of ideas and refining sort of thought process and, and thinking processes. So an example for, you know, instead of rote learning all the, having a lecture about like what happens in a heart attack, you can have a tutorial about how do you approach a patient who has something like a heart attack? How do you tell heart attack from other things? And once you have that as an overarching purpose of the tutorial, it much becomes much easier to drive engagement. What you can do is just try to, you know, um, preview your face at the lower part of the screen. Because I think hand gestures, facial gestures, it just helps with the learning process you know, in terms of understanding what, you know, you're trying to really talk about. And if you're using last year's recordings, for example, try to break it up into smaller pieces, you know. And I think the main thing for teachers right now is use the My Experience survey, use any other feedback you've gotten and actually use this time and the lessons that you've learned now for future online courses even after COVID-19 if you need to make any online content. So one of my courses at the start of every week send out an email um, like listing all the requirements for the week like the readings and the lectures you need to watch and um, like the assignments that are coming up and I found that super useful because I think it all gets a bit chaotic when everything's online and you can't remember what you're meant to do that week. So having that there is very good. <laughs>